In this video, I will show you how to develop and use routines in Talent. First of all, what is a routine? A routine is a Java class, as you might see here on the left side of the picture, that has some methods in it, some logic, some code that you would want to use repeatedly in your jobs. And the good thing about routines is that you can also include external libraries there. I can also show, I will also show you this. And this makes your life easier because someone else basically already invented the code and you just get to use it by encapsulating it, for example, in a routine in Talent. And then here on the right hand side is where you see uh, one place where you could use a routine to input one value and extract some data or do some other transformations on that. If you're interested, stay tuned with me and we will head over to Talent now to give you a specific example. First of all, in the repository on the left hand side, you have this code entry. Below this, you get global routines. We can right click and create a new one. And first of all, what I want to do with you is have a look at one of these here because Talent already includes some in this system folder. And this is what we're going to take as a starting point. For example, Talent Data Generator has some utility function here that allows me to pick a last name, uh, sorry, a first name also randomly from this list. So this is what I'm going to copy to create my own routine from. All right, so now creating your routine is right clicking on global routines and selecting this create routine uh, menu. And now I say, okay, my uh, second routine because it's not my first one anymore. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, I just have to give it a name and I delete and this one here and this one. So I basically leave it empty. Uh, so what remains is uh, this class name with this opening and closing curly braces and here this uh, package and definition. And now I paste what I just copied from the other uh, routine that was built into Talent. And here I want to do the following. I want to get a, a random a weekday. So this means I will put a list from with values from Monday to Friday here. But in order not to bore you with doing this, I already prepared that. So I will copy my list from here. It could be any other list, any other types of values. And what are we doing here? We pretty much leave this line to extract a value between zero and the length of this list um, to obtain one of these five values for each execution. And this is done by picking the list at the position random, uh, the value at the position random from this list. So we'd get either Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Now for the documentation, it is also really useful to have uh, because you might not be the one using that. Uh, inserting some things here, uh, which is, for example, the example at the bottom. So for the example, I copy and this name, it would not have any input and it would, for example, have this output. Then the category is, for example, my routines. So I can give it a category independent of the routine name here. This category is used to group them together in some places like the tmap expression editor. And the here you usually give the return type. We don't have any parameters, so we don't need this. But here also we can give a brief and description, something like this, get random day between uh, Monday and Friday. Okay, something like this would be more than enough to create your first uh, method inside your first uh, Java class, AK routine in Talent. So we're good to go with this. So we will close that. And when we now run to reference this in code, we basically have to write my routine dot and then this uh, method's name. Okay, I want to show this in a first uh, step with a fixed flow input component. Sorry, I was uh, typing in the wrong letter here and a logo component. Okay, this will have a really easy schema. Just one column, okay, I call this a day. The type string is okay, and I hit okay. And now, like I said, to use this, I write my routine uh, dot, and I can use control space uh, get 
Um, how did I call that? <laughs> Get a random weekday. Here you can see we have uh, we can have the same name in different uh, routines, which is not really advisable. But in uh, square brackets here at the end, you can see where this uh, method will be picked from. Okay, so this would make the respective import for our job itself. But you don't have to worry here. Uh, you just have to use the correct one. Okay. And now we're good to go already to execute this thing and see the respective result on the console. Oh, I mistyped here uh, a little bit. Uh, I left something here, which was my routine, although it was named my second routine. So I will correct that and you will see the respective output on the console, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever value are it. Uh, is picked uh, from in this list. All right, now one more thing I want to show you here is I will open this first routine is for example, I can use uh, Java built-in classes like the UID uh, Java Util class uh, to get a UID and use this in my job. It's pretty much the same as the first example, only that inside this um, Java class, basically uh, the values for the UID something like this is and generated but one more thing one uh, even more important thing i think here is that you can also import external libraries you can also already see an external import here but i want to show yeah to you from the beginning i created a method here at the bottom that uses an external library and if i don't have that import you can see it's marking this as an error and i will leave it like this for the moment because first of all what you would have to do in order to use an external library in your routine is close the routine and right click on it and select edit routine libraries okay here i was using the node time library if you don't have any library yet attached to your routine it would look like this uh, to get a library you would either download it from a maven repository on the web itself or when you go to new here uh, here you could attach your download this way with the second option or you can also use this ones that already come with talent because talent itself the talent open studio uh, got this a type of Maven library built in as well. Obviously there are not all libraries available uh, in talent that are available in uh, Maven or in other repositories. But here I can select, for example, also my Joda time library, uh, probably because they also use it in some places in talent itself. And I can hit okay. And one or the other way, either from the built in Maven repository or download it externally. And then uh, with the second option, I can attach it here and click finish. And once I have this, I can open this again and I can now go ahead and resolve this compilation error because now once this library is available, it automatically suggests here that I import a data time from org Joda time. I can click that and it's uh, putting this import here as the last line in this case uh, in my import statements for my class. And this is pretty much what I have to do here. Right, what did I do? What is this doing? Basically, it's taking a parameter of type date, which is here called input, and creating a new instance of a data time from the Joda library uh, with this, and then extracting the hour of the day from a timestamp like this. Okay, I already did the documentation here. I've shown it to you in the other example, so I don't want to bore you with this. So I just go ahead and close that and I want to show you then how to use this as well. Okay, now I will basically copy this subjump. Okay, and deactivate in the first one. And what I will do now here is I will generate a date. I will parse a string to convert it to a date. And then in a tmap component, we're going to do the extraction of the hour. So let's go ahead. First of all, we will uh, change the schema here. Let's call that date time uh, input, something like this. Okay. And important here that we define it as type date because this is the parameter that our method will use, the type of parameter that our method uses. And here in the date pattern, I, sell, I delete what's already there and I hit control space to select this first longer format here, which has year, month, day, hour, minute, second with a space in between. 
All right, then we're good to go over this schema for the second subjob and we can propagate in the changes. And now what we'll do here, we will use a built-in talent function to parse a date uh, from a string. So I just select this talent date parse date function. And here in this second prior of double quotes, I will input a value and that we will use to create a date from, for example, 5, 10, 45 a.m. And this is already good to go. And for this stage of our, the development of our job, we can execute it to see the result on the console. So we see this is working fine. And I will add a tmap component to this now. We can pass the value from here to this tmap component and deactivate in this logo. And now I'll open the map editor by double clicking it create a new output here. The date time input we will show in the output as well. And we will create another new column for our, our value. Okay. So I will call it like this, our value and make it of type integer, right? You might remember that in the method we defined takes a date as an input date format input and integer a return a value. All right. So now we have this empty column here. I will copy this piece of code and paste it here and now hit this three dot button to complete the expression. So what I will do now here, I can uh, create a new line. And first of all, look at the categories. You can already see I have a my routine here, which is the one we just created in the video. And this is the one I created earlier. And there is where I have this get hour from a date to time. And I can hit return. So it has uh, this piece of code, this fragment. And inside these parentheses, I get to give in this value, which is row three dot data time input. All right. And this is already what we would have to do. And so I can hit OK uh, on my tmap editor and add another logo component to see the output of those two values, the original input plus the parsed value. You can see the original date time input value 0, 05, 10, 45, and it's extracting five from it. So now if we change this value to whatever else there may be as an hour, for example, uh, 23, it would respectively extract this uh, other value. And it's only two examples of where you can use these routines, these methods, basically in talent, pretty much in any component that allows you to put some piece of code like the expression builder uh, in this tmap component. All right, so you've seen how to create a routine on the one hand, right? So with its respective uh, external libraries, if necessary, and the respective documentation. And on the other hand, we've looked at how to use a routine in your talent job in different places. If you like the video, you can learn more. You can go to this link. I have a complete talent course there. So if it made you curious, I would like you to visit this. And anyway, I would also really appreciate a thumbs up and comments on the video. Also tell me what you think of the video and if you like any other videos uh, on this topic. That's it for today. Thank you for your attention and see you in the next one.